Hey y'all, I wanted to talk about um, a uh, weird confluence of, uh, of events, and um, I don't know what this means, if it means anything at all, but just, you know, if you're somebody, if you're a schizo like me, and you, and you notice patterns everywhere, um, well not everywhere, but, I mean in my defense, I really think this is a pattern, this is a weird pattern to see. Um, but I don't know what it means. I don't know if it means anything. Uh, I think it's worth noting, however. And so I am noting it here. Well, there's there's been all this hype uh, over the last couple of weeks about uh, uh, this country song, uh, Try That in a Small Town. That's the title. It's by a country artist named Jason Aldean. And <laughs> the song itself, you know, I like I like that it triggers triggers the libs. Uh, you know, I'm I'm, uh, I, I'm I, you know I, I, I will admit to uh, to uh, having that kind of base level appreciation of it. Um, but uh, as far as uh, as far as uh, you know, actual aesthetic enjoyment of it as a song. I don't really think there's too much there. I don't. I don't think it's all that, even all that edgy. I mean, it's it's being treated as as like ooh, ooh, this guy, ooh, this is just beyond the pale, by uh, you know the 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 trusty uh, blue state uh, uh, folks. Uh, you know they're they're uh, being uh, triggered by the the song and especially by the the video, which shows. You know some of the rioters uh, uh, from a couple of years ago, and and the, the the theme of the song is "Try That in a Small Town," and you know it's gonna it's gonna come back at you because we got some good old boys in the small town. They don't put up with that shit. Um, but it's not really <clears throat> it's not really even all that edgy. It's it's not like as far as edgy country songs go. I would say um, that uh, Toby Keith's. Uh, uh, courtesy of the red, white, and blue is is more packs more of a punch, um, and that that's just about bombing all all these foreign countries after nine eleven. So I, I can't even say um, that I, uh, you know, I I I, I think I, the message uh, of that one has become less and less uh, friendly to me uh, as the years have have gone on. But I still. You know, enjoy it as a you know, put a boot in your ass. It's the American way. I, I, you know, just the the ballsiness of it. Um, and so this has got like a step down from that to me. Uh, this really isn't all that all that uh, transgressive of uh, of the norms. Um, uh, but but then again, it's hard. It's kind of hard to find truly edgy stuff that's 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 really out there. Uh, in our age, because uh, you know everything has become corporatized and streamlined and and censored, and you know uh, everybody's got to watch their step and and uh, you know not say certain words, and you know that's just the, the state of things. So, so of course they read, uh, you know, dog whistle, dog whistle racism. That's one of their favorite words. Dog whistle. Dog whistle is one of their favorite words, and pipeline is the other favorite word of theirs. You know, oh, this is this may not be racist, but it's a dog whistle to racists. You know, this group may not be racist or sexist or or misogynist, but but uh, if you if you join this group, it's a pipeline that takes you to uh, to uh, truly fascist, uh, racist, sexist uh, organizations that that are completely unacceptable unacceptable um you know that's that's the kind of uh dialogue or that's the kind of um uh, rhetoric that they that they engage in it's not dialogue it's it's monologue it's it's not you there you're you you don't uh you aren't invited to uh take part in a give and take with it but anyway you know that's just my tip so my take on the song is that it's not a great song but uh you know i i enjoy that it offends all the right people um and, uh, and so I wasn't really going to even comment on it. I was going to sort of let it go, um, you know, because it wasn't particularly interesting, but then, then 
I found out uh, because I was reading Jim Goad's article at Countercurrents the other day, um, and I don't read Jim Goad or Countercurrents all that much anymore. Um, but uh, um, but anyway, that putting that aside, that's not, not my own personal preferences are not terribly interesting. Uh, I did. I was. I did happen to be reading this article, and and Jim points out in in the article uh, that uh, Jason Aldean was the the uh, performer uh, playing at the uh, country music festival in Las Vegas. He was the guy who was on stage when the shooting broke out. Um. So so back in. 2017, you know, when when this this event, this 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 totally screwy event that that that, that uh, we don't have, uh, you know, we, I, I'm convinced we we, we don't have uh, like even 10 percent of the truth about what all went on on that day, you know. In my on my old channel, I I did a lot of videos about it, and I I actually even. Uh, visited Las Vegas um, because you know you know me you know I'm a I'm a, I'm into the gambling scene and, and everything and uh, and the hor the whoring too um, but <laughs> no I didn't either while whilst I was there but uh, I, I I did I did sort of uh, uh, you know look into the uh, not not really look into anything but but look at places like. You know, here's the motel. Here's the hotel where the the the, uh, um, the shooting supposedly came from, and they said that it was just just one guy. They said it was just just this one old man um, who who seemed to have absolutely no motive whatsoever, but that it was just him firing uh, on this this crowd of people, um, even though multiple. Uh, uh, there were, there were multiple reports from uh, from witnesses at the scene of there being shooters uh, all over the place. Um, that just kind of went ignored. That was just like, uh, oh well, they're just mistaken. You know, it's the fog of of it's the fog of war. It wasn't war, but it's, it was it was just the confusion of the moment, uh, and that's why they say these things that they said. But I, you know, I don't believe that for a second. And uh, there were reports of other strange things happening uh, uh, in town, in uh, at other hotels. And there's a, there was a woman at the time who, uh, who gave a testimony that she was staying at uh, the hotel, Bo the Bellagio, which is also on the Las Vegas Strip, but uh, but further down, uh, you know, like a, a couple miles down from where the shooting happened. And she said she uh, she, she reported that uh, there was some some event that was happening there that, that the windows shattered and there were gunshots that were heard fired and, and people, uh, were evacuated, uh, you know, or they were, they were told to stay, uh, in their, in their evacuation spot, uh, you know, um, until the next day. And, and there was, and she took footage of this and afterwards it totally got papered over. There was nothing, uh, you know, there, there, there was like, oh no, nothing actually happened here. Um, no, 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 you're mistaken. Just like the, it was just one shooter, and never mind what his motives were. Um, and he fired from just this this one position. Uh, never mind what uh, you know others say. Others who were there, what do they know? They were just there, right? That uh, they just saw uh, things that you know, the the things unfold as they were actually taking place. They're not trustworthy. Um, anyway, it was so screwy. And I just find that I, the fact that this, this, uh, country music singer, who's now top of the charts, uh, with this, you know, co controversial song, try that in a small town. Um, I put quote controversial in quotes because it shouldn't be, <laughs> you know, in a, in a, uh, in a country where we're not all pussies, uh, uh, it, it's, it, this would, this would not be, uh, this would not ruffle feathers at all. This would just be, this would get more, nothing more than a shrug. 
Uh, but because we are living in the time that we are living and it takes, you know, so little to be seen as provocative, uh, that therefore this song is, is seen as, uh, you know, a, as a provocative song, um, that he, the same guy was on stage when the shooting t happened, when the shooting broke out. Um, again, I don't know what this means. I don't know if it means anything. But it's it's damn well worth noting, um, and when Goad mentioned it in his article, he didn't mention it like, uh, uh, "Oh wow, that's 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 a that's a weird synchronicity there," um, because Goad I don't I don't think thinks along those lines, but I do, um, and maybe some of you do as well. So I uh, I find it interesting, and uh, I guess that's all I'll have to say about it. But if you've got uh, further thoughts on this subject, please do leave them below. Thank you for very much for watching.